Hello to my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Scorpios. Let's do it. This is a general reading for all of my Scorpios. Uh, so take only what resonates with you, uh, Scorpios. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. Scorpios, you all are a divine feminine sign. You're water sign. You're fixed signs. You all are imaginative. You're very passionate and emotional. You can also be subtle, uh, uh, subtle, excuse me. You can also be very persistent, persistent, intense, obstinate, and unyielding. You all are um, a regenerative sign. You're ruled by a regenerative planet, death, rebirth planet, Pluto, which is the outermost planet. And the, 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 it's the death, rebirth, or beginning and endings of things. So you all are pretty intense. But looking at your cards or just picking up on the energy, I've already prayed over your cards, I've already cleared the space, is that somebody is learning how to be just kind of sort of more patient with energies that are not as emotionally in tuned as you all are, you know? I see like on the light side of things, you're focusing more on the rebirth sort of instead of just the death of things. Because you're thinking, okay, I'm, I'm mourning and I'm grieving something like the intensity. Somebody cheated on me or somebody cut me off or somebody, like somebody is coming away from that and start focusing on what was I supposed to learn from that in my rebirth. So let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us get in, Let's see what your cards have to say. All right. I'm going to give you questions for the moon in Aries as well, because the moon is moving from Pisces into the moon in Aries. So the moon in Pisces will cause you to feel emotionally overwhelmed to a point where you can't even articulate why you feel the way that you feel. Are you carrying other people's burdens and it's causing you to feel like you made poor decisions when it comes to other people that's connected to you? Let's do it. Ace of Wands. First card out of the deck is a fire sign. Your third eye is definitely opening up about an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius and sources say you are a healer. Here we have the healing card. You are a healer. And when you're around people who jump to the conclusions about things or that they're ruthless or tyrannical and this kind of thing, and you find yourself always having these negative thoughts or, gosh, I got to, um, I feel like the energy is causing me some level of anxiety or that they're always comparing themselves to somebody else. I need to recognize as a healer, of course, no respect or person. I have to go, my obedience to source is better than, obedience is better than sacrifice. Here we have the four of pentacles. So I see you spending less time around. And of course, I speak highly of all zodiac signs. <clears throat> and I already know what people have said about Scorpios, right? But source is saying the more and more, you know, obviously you have, you can have great relationships with fire signs, but we're talking about a specific fire sign specific fire signs who don't want you to heal certain people because of their, their, um, narcissism. Um, they want all the attention on them. Like, okay, I want you all to myself. Maybe because of your, maybe you are a well-known healer or something of some popularity or something you well connected with people, whatever it is, Scorpios, somebody doesn't want you to Somebody wants to hog all of your healing, even if God is telling you like their, 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 um, their, uh, competitiveness is really with God. And so, but you, you're starting to see something real time that they have this competition. When they see other people, they automatically go into competitive mode. Here we have the seven of cups and something is trying to pull you back into that type of energy to go backwards, but sources saying, get as far away from them. Get as far away from them as possible. Here we also have the King of Cups. That will be you, King of your emotions. Because if they have that competitive spirit about everybody else, how long is it going to take for them to see you see that competitive spirit with you? So that's what Source is trying to tell you. Here we have the Seven of Wands. So I see you being able to defend your decision to move on as fast as possible away from those types of energies without coming across as defensive, then it's going to make sense as to why some other people who are also wise and very logical in their thinking don't want to have anything to do with them at all. It's like, oh my God, what in the world? What is this? What kind of spirit is this? Um, it's going to have, they're going to have to, they're, well, first of all, <clears throat> source is the only source. There's only one source, most high, right? 
But when other people want you to, they want to hog up all of your healing energy, at some, they can't help it because they're battling their own demons. And that's what somebody's going to have to see is right now they're in the process of worshiping another God, which is the devil. Um, and they're basically bowing down and they've surrendered to their own demons of just this. I got to always be in a fight mode with everybody. I'm, um, this energy, like I said, it could be a fire sign because that's what ledger, that's what ledger card, the wands is fire energy, element of fire. Here we also have the king of coins. It was already predestined for you to be very, very, very wealthy, right? Always predestined. Your wealth is not determined by them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. As soon as they realize that uh, this energy is getting as far away from me as possible, they're not answering my phone calls. They don't hang out with me as much. They don't want to really have anything to do with me. It's because Source has reminded you that you are a healer and obedience is better than sacrifice. You've always been. You've always been. It's going. I'm telling you. I feel like somebody along the way has told you to stay away from them. But again, because you're a very intense sign, you feel like, okay, mostly I can handle, I can handle anything. I'll get through this. I can, but uh, come on now. People don't want to be a, here we have the five of cups. So this is letting me know that every time something happens, every time it interacts with them, it causes like lamenting for you. Every time you think about their energy around their energy, it's always some kind of you having a poor your water into them into a point of almost burnout. So it's just like, it, you're not their God. Here we have these two cups right here and an abundance of creativity coming out of you that's going to make you very, very wealthy. So it really is, if you start thinking about why some people don't, they tell, they tell you out of their mouth, oh, this person doesn't like me. This person doesn't like me. They're always harshly judging people. The only thing they feel like they're worth is bringing trash talking. Oh, I went online and I looked this up about people and so on and so forth. And they bringing that trash back into your universe. It's time to clean up La Playa. It's time to clean up the beach, right? It's, it's time to clean up the water. It's time to clean, like get all this dirty stuff off the beach, off of your off of your land. And I'm saying that because I'm looking at this as well, but sources say it's time for you to defend a decision that, Hey, I am a healer. I don't know what your title is. You could be a singer, a dancer, a pastor, a preacher, a priest, a uh, uh, yoga instructor, whoever you are, your energy is very healing to people. Um, you can be some leader in government, whatever it is, but your energy is very healing to people. Like you help people to say, you know, like see the lighter side of life. Like when people are like, you know, stressed out about like, oh my God, this is happening over here. That's happening over there. Here you come in like, you know what? It's it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're explaining to them how it's going to be okay. Or you, you, you know, you got, you, you sure you good. You got a lot of other stuff going on because you, you're giving this one a little bit too much attention. And so source is saying to you, they will keep causing you to be like this. Like, oh my God, what is it now? It's going to start making so much sense. Why some people don't want to have anything to do with them at all. Just ruthless type of energy. So I do see you moving on from that. And because you're the death rebirth, um, you're, excuse me, you're ruled by Mars and also Pluto. Pluto is the death rebirth planet. Mars is the, when you see the tower card, Mars, for them, that tower is going to hit them real hard that you don't want to have anything to do with them. Like, okay, how come Scorpio is not answering the phone? How come Scorpio is this? How come Scorpio? It's going, it's going for them. That tower falling on them is they going down and they snatching everybody they can snatch down with them. I'm telling on this, I will burn down. A, this like literally like they're saying, I will burn down everybody's life until, and like I, it just, and it still doesn't satisfy them because they need the living water. Let's see what else we got going on here. So looking at your cards here, um, you know, continuing to look at your cards, answering more questions about your healing abilities and people who always got to compare other people or compare other people. Source is taking you back to a time when you've gone through a lot of things too. When you've gone back through like a lot of backstabbing, a lot of, you survived a lot yourself from your own family. And Source is saying it's taking you into this breakthrough feels like a breakdown in communication. Like what is it with that in with those energies? Like what, what, it, why are they like that? Right. While being a healer, some people will want you to take up, will focus all the time on them, but, uh, <clears throat> learning how to create very firm boundaries, like your water and, and, uh, um, um, containing your water. 
What's going to make sense to you is why some people have cut them off as fast as they have. They will try to make it seem like, oh, people don't know me. They just cut me off before they got a chance to really know me and so on and so forth. But when you're dealing with cerebral signs, as air signs are, they're always thinking, always thinking, 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 thinking. But even more important when you're dealing with energies who know what their purpose on the planet, like other healers, they won't spend a whole lot of time with that. They won't spend a whole lot of time with that. So source is saying to you, you have some energies that are, this is in, interesting because you've had some energies that were very close to you, love and like uh, when I say love interest, not just romantic love interest, but like, uh, let me see, loved ones. Let me say it that way. Loved ones. Um, sometimes those are the hardest. Sometimes those are the ones that's hardest to really, really see right through it. You can cut somebody else that you don't really care about that, uh, you know. Here we have the page of swords. Your anxiety about something is about to go away. All you need to do is start cracking open some books. Start taking some actions to start reading more books. Reading more books about spirituality, about chakras, and start reading about how to get yours in line. Because as a healer, your head and heart should not be at war with each other, no matter who it is. Whether it's a family member or a complete stranger, it's sources saying, you have something in you that can heal this energy. I need you to go heal. Ob obedience is better than sacrifice. So if you're looking at your family members as being, okay, well... Some or, or your close friends as like family or organization family or whatever as being the ones that should benefit most from what source is telling you, I need you to go help this person over there. And as source say, I need you to go help them. Somebody is for a rude awakening, a rude awakening. That's why when I talk to some people and they say, oh my God, when I started my business, I thought for certain that so-and-so people would be there. This, this is not how, you know, family or like family is supposed to treat somebody. I was there for them when such and such and such and such, because source is trying to teach you when you come across a, the path of a healer and source is telling them, <clears throat> I can't say like a psychiatrist or a psychologist because that's a, that's a, that's a earthly job title. But I, let me see if I can I can connect. So so it would be like they're telling you their time is precious, right? So they're in a sense they're teaching you sources teaching you that every moment is precious. And so sources saying if I'm telling you that the moment over here is precious, even though somebody else is telling you that this is over here is more precious, I need you to be obedient to source. Something is definitely increasing somebody's prayer life. That's why I said in the beginning, it's going to make so much sense to you as to why some people don't want to deal with certain people. I'm serious. It's going to be like, mm-mm. No. Nope. If the energy is not on them, they go right into treacherous behavior, burning people, running smear campaigns, all of this other stuff. So you may have had some energies that come across your path to remind you of what you went through yourself. And it's going to increase your not only your prayer life, but also your compassion. You're a water sign. And it's, this is the king of, uh, king of cups here, uh, increasing your wisdom and your compassion for things like, okay, I see what this is. I see what this is. So here we have the eight of swords. We also have the, um, the three of wands here. We have the hierophant card here. We also have the queen of swords and also the lover's card and also the three of cups. So something that was causing you this to be a prisoner in your own mind about things that was causing you nightmares, right? About something sources saying to you, both in your purpose, two t situations in your mind that was causing you nightmares and frustrate two situations in particular. This is your polarity sign Taurus, right? That you may have been stubborn about is causing you to learn how to, okay, I need to uproot something out of my garden. This is an earth sign. I need to come out of this. If I'm if I'm a healer, I need to be a healer wherever God sends me to heal. It's like the traveling nurse or traveling doctor. I need to travel wherever source needs me to travel to be a healer and get away from this. I can only heal in this capacity. If you're a healer, it doesn't matter what spiritual organization your denomination is. You are a healer because source gave you the gift to heal other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
that would be like, I remember one time I saw, um, who was it? It, it was, it, it was probably Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston singing different genres of music. Like, although they may have been like a soul singer or R and B, you know, they was also singing opera sources. Like if you are a singer, you can sing any genre of music. If you are a healer, you can heal in any capacity, period, right? So say, saying that I can only stick with this group of people because other people want to dominate or just take over most of my energy and my time, I don't, no, nah, that's not going to happen anymore, right? So sources saying get away from certain energies. Here we also have three of cups. <clears throat> I see you celebrating with source, you know, in advance, three and eight, three and five is eight. And, um, sources saying you have a lot of creativity, a lot of fresh water to offer people. I see some kind of partnership in business and, or in love coming across your path. And so somebody is definitely coming away. Somebody's learning how to adapt. And so some kind of message is coming through, like some kind of realization is coming. Like maybe somebody is my soulmate. Maybe, I mean, maybe somebody is my twin flame. Maybe I was looking at something is all, is all, you know, wrong, um, Maybe, um, you know, so your fixed signs as you, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, sometimes come across like, okay, you know what? I'm fixated on this. If I'm, if it's dead, it's dead. I'm not being their friend ever again, or I'm not going double back and see, you know, uh, you know, check on this, or I'm not, I'm just going to stay fixated. Sources changing all of that. Here we also have the three of wands. This is what I think, and I'm not budging from what I believe. Source is about to keep you booked and busy moving forward and not burdened at all by something that's, it's, it's one thing, death does not mean the complete ending of something. It means the ending of being around, in this case right here, being connected to people who cause you burnout, cause you to have low self-esteem, a bunch of anxiety causing you nightmares because they got to hog up all of your energy. And so Source is getting ready to make something make very, it's going to make sense to you, Queen of um, Swords, as you're sitting on your throne. It's going to help you to see how some people survive and are also thriving despite spell work that may have been put on them, despite threats that have been made to them, despite all kinds of stuff. How in the world are some people surviving? How are some people surviving? Because they still, they recognize what their purpose is and they're working for source. Source is the one that's protecting people. So then it's going to hit you. Wow. You know what? I survived a lot of things and I'm thriving and no demon in hell on earth has been able to stop me. So wait a minute. Why? Let me, let me get my mind together here. It's going to make somebody wealthier. It's going to make somebody wealthier. So here are the questions for the moon in Aries. Since the moon is currently, if you're watching this video on Tuesday, the 19th of December, and this video is for the 20th of December through the 20th of January, 2024, but the moon is, we will be moving into Aries at some point. Um, between the time you watch it or the following day. First question for the moon in Aries is, are you struggling with low self-worth? Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship with a situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? Third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and, and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking a leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you had known that you were fully supported, what would you do? Remember, you and Aries actually share... The ruling planet Mars. Mars is that planet of assertion, action. It's the planet of competition, survival, strength, capacity for action, fighting spirit, energy, vitality, conflict, courage, and being daring, anger, sexual drive, right? So when you're dealing with, but the, the stage of life that Aries symbolizes is, um, and I want you to look it up, but it's, it's uh, I think zero through seven years old, those stages of life. So again, <clears throat> somebody's dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that definitely um, knows how to manipulate people's emotions in terms of competition, com being in that competitive spirit, in a, a very unhealthy competitive spirit. And so sources saying you have somehow gotten away from that type of energy so that you can be with whoever your twin flame is or your like some kind of partnership in business and or in love coming across your path and um 
like I said, you'll see just how tyrannical those types of energies are. They always want to see people behind bars. You know, they don't know the full story, jump into conclusions about certain things. They just want to see people. They, they get joy out of seeing people gone crazy out of their mind. They like to call people crazy, all sorts of stuff. Just very immature, very, like I said before, just very low vibrational energy. But like I said, source is getting you away from certain types of energies. King of Pentacles, again, Page of Swords. Here we have Wheel of Fortune, Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and also the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles came out twice. You and somebody are about to be very, very wealthy. And it was definitely an energy that was trying to keep, it could be you and somebody else who come from healing abilities or you come from healing family or whatever. But sources say, start cracking open some books and start doing some reading. Start taking some kind of positive action to learn more about it because again if you had because you're somebody starting to see that even these energies who they don't have they don't have the power to save you they don't have the power to save you here we also have the five of wands because they're too busy fighting their own demons so again your third eye is open and I see you being victorious moving forward without those energies. I see you moving forward victoriously without those energies. Again, booked and busy and not burdened by them. Here we also have the Eight of Wands. And uh, so Source is saying, the sooner you, the faster you get away from those types of energy, the faster you're going right into. And again, this is through your prayer life that you're increasing. Here we also have the Page of Swords here. Again, your anxiety about two situations in particular are going to be going away because source is exposing the energy. Source is exposing everything. Here we also have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the Knight of Wands. This is the this is right here. Stay away from ruthless and just like I said, people who love they get they get joy. Something about their energy, their laugh, the way that they their energy is all about. If I don't see somebody crying or hurt or out of their crazed out of their mind or in a misery because they're in misery themselves. They're not looking to help people find their throne in their universe. Out of control. Source is saying, if you don't stay away from those types of energies, I don't care how much of a death you rule by the death rule rebirth planet. You'll keep going through these intense situations because, okay, I don't, I don't have a stop button. There has to be some kind of stop button because Source is trying to bring, and it's not all about money. Source has to just trying to bring you into this, this new phase of life. Here we have 12. I am a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. 12. One and two is three. You were born to inspire. You're born to use somebody. You've come across some energies that have learned how to take lemons and not become sour and make lemonade or that all the bricks that were thrown against them that was desired i mean that was designed to bury them from the devil is they learn how to build something from that so when you're around the type of energy that's i'm telling you they re they really run in a risk you're emotionally the smartest sign in the zodiac they are really running a risk of um you you are, you can already see right through them you can already see right through them so you'll see if you haven't already seen source of saying it's still your year it is still your year. There it is. Prosperity. Affirmations for prosperity. I am determined to win, period. I am diligent. And I'm talking about win your purpose. It's not some kind of vindictive whatever. I'm determined to win for God. I am diligent. I am defeating the odds. I am warrior strong. I summon my highest self to take control today. I invest my time wisely. I am persistent. See, the less time you invest in their energy, their wicked energy, the more you're going to start seeing, it's going to become clearer and clearer and clearer that they're battling demons that you can't save them from. They're going to have to cry out to God for real because they see everybody as competition. Man, woman, boy, child, anything. This will be, this will be I'm serious. And y'all can think I'm exaggerating if you want, but this is what's coming to me. They would be jealous of a person. It's like a, you know, like let's say you, you just, you, you could be opposite sex couple or same sex couple. Let's say you all adopted a baby or IVF or had a baby, whatever. They would be jealous of a baby coming into the house because they need all of the energy on them. 
They, they, and they are quite convincing and making sure that, oh, well, I didn't get enough attention from my mom or dad. And I need you to do the baby over there crying, hungry, need to be changed, fed, all of that. And they would, oh, well, I mean, it'll be all right. Just let the baby cry. But then you let them cry, all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. So sources are saying, look, it's going to start making sense why some people don't want to deal with them. And it's not your job to save them. But that may be the hardest pill to swallow because you all are such a ride or die type of sign. Sources are saying, but what may hit you the hardest is when you're going through hell yourself, they'll let you burn. And as a matter of fact, they got a smile on their face while you're going through it because now you're getting to a level of uncomfortable, you know, um, discomfort, excuse me, that they, where they are. Misery loves company. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all, um, on Friday. Hopefully those questions have helped you. Bye.